For this week's project, we will be making this colorful math mosaic. The materials you will need are a pair of scissors, a glue stick, a number two pencil, and a ruler. I also took the time to make this template. This template is made on a piece of LD paper, which is 11 inches tall by 17 inches wide. I made nine different sections eight of them being two inch sections. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So two inch by 10 inch long sections. And this will make more sense when we get started doing this project. I also cut up some colored paper into two inch by two inch squares. And then I cut those in half to make triangles. We have two inch by four inch rectangles. And then I cut those in half to make triangles. And then I have two inch by six inch rectangles and I also cut those in two triangles. And then just to be safe, I just cut some random two inch strips. These are two by eight, um, just in case I need to make a piece real quick. All right, well, now that you've got all your materials cut and ready, let's get started. Now I've put everything else away except for my colored paper and my template because I wanna lay it down before I glue it down. And I wanna try it out. So the object of this project is to put uh, the amount of shapes into each column. So two will go in this column, three will go in this column, four will go in this column, five, and so on. So I'm going to take a shape. So for the first one, I'm gonna take this two inch by six inch shape, and I'm gonna set it here. And what shape would go here might be the two inch by four inch shape. So I've created two different colors in this first column. The second one, Let's try using this two by four inch shape and these long two inch by six inch triangles. So now in this row, we have one, two, three shapes. All right, and you're gonna continue on until you get all the way to nine. Once you get to nine, we'll take the next step. Now that I'm finished laying it out, let's check our work. So, one, two. I actually ended up using an eight by two inch piece, so luckily I had those. This column here has one, two, three. Column number four has one, two, three, four. Column number five has one, two, three, four, five. Column number six has one, two, three, four, five, six. Column number seven has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Column number eight has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Column number nine has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, well, it looks like my project set up correctly. Now the last touch is maybe I have two colors that are touching and I don't like the way it looks. I can come in here and swap out some colors. So I'm, I don't like this green one. So I'm gonna take this one out and I'm gonna trade it with something else that doesn't matter if it's green. So let's take out this one and let's put the green one here and I can move the blue one up here. And you can change the color pattern, but by swapping out different pieces to make your mosaic more unique. All right, now it's time to glue it down. I'm gonna glue these down column by column, so I'm gonna start on one side and work my way to the other. Now you have to be kind of careful because each time you pick up a piece of paper, it moves the row next to it. So just pay attention and make sure everything that you're gluing down is where you want it to be. All right, let's get back to it. Now that I'm finished gluing down my project and I let it dry for a little bit, I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna trim along the edge to take, get rid of all the white border. Now my project is all finished. It's starting to curl a little bit because of the glue, so I might put something heavy on top of it to flatten it before I put it on my refrigerator. Well, I hope you like this project. Till I see you next time, bye.